In this lesson, you will learn how to find equivalent ratios. You will find equivalent ratios through multiplication rather than through repeated addition, and you will also solve word problems using ratios. Let's consider this problem. There are three boys for every two girls in a class. If there are 12 girls in the class, how many boys are there in the class? Remember, in ratios, we need to consider the order. In this case, boys is first, girls is second. To make our new ratio, let's remember girls are second. There are 12 girls in the class. How many boys would be in the class? Just like when we find equivalent fractions, we must multiply or divide both numbers by the same amount. To go from 2 to 12, we can multiply by 6. Therefore, we can multiply 3 by 6 to find out how many boys are in the class. 3 times 6 is 18. Therefore, the new ratio is 18 to 12. Try this exercise on your whiteboard. Pause the video and then check your answer. Again, we are comparing boys and girls in a class. There are four boys for every five girls. If there are 20 boys in the class, how many girls will be in the class? Let's see. To go from four to 20, we multiply by five. Five times five is 25. If there are 20 boys in the class, there will be 25 girls. Try this example on your whiteboard and check your answer. There are three boys for every two girls. If there are 12 boys, how many girls are there? To go from three to 12, we multiply by four. Two times four is eight. Therefore, our new ratio is 12 to 8. Let's consider this problem. An aquarium has just guppy and platy fish. There are three guppies for every two platies. There are 25 fish in the aquarium. How many guppies are in the aquarium? We know that 25 is our total number. If there are three guppies and two platies, the total number of fish is five. If there are 25 fish in total, we know that we have multiplied our total fish by five. Therefore, we can multiply each number in the ratio by five. Three times five is 15. 2 times 5 is 10. Remember, the question is asking how many guppies are in the aquarium. Guppies is the first number in the ratio. There are 15 guppies in the aquarium when there are 25 fish. You can also represent ratios in a ratio table. In this case, 4 and 7 are a ratio. If our first number is 12, what will the second number be? Again, look at what happened to the first number to get to the second number. 4 times 3 is 12. 7 times 3 is 21. An equivalent ratio of 4 to 7 is 12 to 21. Try B, C, and D on your whiteboard and then check your answers. Fourteen times three is fifty two. Try this next word problem and then check your answer. Five bus tickets cost nine dollars. How much would twenty bus tickets cost? We can make a ratio table number of bus tickets and total cost. Five bus tickets cost $9. 20 bus tickets 
would cost 5 times 4 is 20, 9 times 4 is 36. 20 bus tickets would cost $36. Now try page 125 and 126 in your Jump Math book.